If we were in Thailand, this would still be Songkran. Everybody's taking a time off, getting on the roads, running into one another. It's not a good way to celebrate a new year. You want to celebrate the new year by establishing your mindfulness, looking back on the old year and seeing what you could do better. Because after all, we all want an auspicious year. I mean, what, is, what is it that makes a year auspicious? It's our actions, our thoughts, our words, our deeds. Think of the Buddhist definition of auspicious day, where you realize that you don't have that much time left in your life, and so you've got duties that you've got to do, so you do them now. What are your duties? They're the duties of the Four Noble Truths, to comprehend suffering, to abandon its cause, to realize its cessation by developing the path. So look at those areas. Which ones need work? We always work on developing the path. How is our concentration? How is our virtue? How is our mindfulness? Work on that right now. And as you cast back over the year, think about the things you did wrong through laps of mindfulness, or maybe a lapse in your virtue, and resolve that you're not going to repeat those mistakes. The Buddha says when you recognize a mistake from the past, the best thing to do is to recognize that it's a mistake, admit that it was a mistake, it's not right, and then resolve not to repeat it. And then you back that up with lots of goodwill about all of the Brahma Viharas, goodwill for the person you wronged or the people you wronged, goodwill for yourself so you don't get down on yourself, then goodwill for all beings. Because it's when we have goodwill for one another that we're less likely to harm one another. And you want to make sure that your goodwill is all around, without exceptions. Because otherwise, if there are exceptions, then there's going to be exceptions in your precepts and there's going to be exceptions in your behavior. And those exceptions are not going to be good. So as you reflect back on the, the year, it's best past. And this is one of the uses of mindfulness, to remember what lessons you've learned. And if you don't think you've learned any lessons, you better think hard. Because there's always room for improvement. It's in this way that you get the most use out of these conventions about when the year starts and when it doesn't start. It's not the case that the sun rises on a particular day with a little sign that says, okay, now this is the year X, whatever. These are conventions that we've come up with, but we can get good use out of them. Without conventions, how would we talk? I mean, without conventions, how would the Buddha have taught at all? So don't look down on conventions, just make sure that you use them rightly. That's how any convention can be converted to a convention for the sake of the Dharma.